How to roll a burrito by Class A Living. All right, you guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to roll a burrito the way I have learned how to roll without making a mess out of things and having it look somewhat tidy and tight. Number one thing I think I've learned is not to overfill the burrito and to leave you room on the ends. So when I make a burrito, I build a rectangle of the stuff I'm using from about one and a half inches in to about halfway across the burrito. And I give no less than one inch on each end. When you start to roll, sometimes whatever it is you're making will spill forward. It goes without saying you should wash your hands before making food. But sometimes you gotta get your hands in there and get them dirty. Even if there's sauce on your broccoli. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can go forward of the mess and pull it in and give it a curl. But to start, you're gonna wanna curl those edges and make a pocket. Like I said, get comfortable, get your fingers in there. Do another little curl if you must, for uh, if you want this burrito to look extra fancy. Don't be ashamed to make adjustments. Reroll if you must, or start all over. Let's show you how I make a veggie burrito. I make my veggie burritos in multiple ways, but usually I start with coleslaw as a base. And you see I've started my rectangle there. I've kept the coleslaw amount low because I know I have many other ingredients I need to add. So pre-planning is important. Got two rows of carrots since I do not have my fourth item. A row of broccoli, some garlic salt. For a fourth item, I'd uh, use something like uh, chopped up celery an avocado, many other things in the vegetable section of the grocery store. Uh, my favorite here, Lighthouse Home Style Ranch. Find it in the refrigerated section. And now for the roll. Let's clean things up here a little bit. Bring in those sides. Do a fold. Do another fold. Don't mess up your, uh, your hard work there. Just be gentle. Give it a roll. Oh, bring that in if you need to. Got your pinkies. Get your pointers up there. Feel around a little bit. Tuck. Give it a tuck. Roll it out. Give it a press if you like. Gives it a flat surface so it doesn't unroll. Stay tuned for more.